got time to chat? I suppose there's no putting it off any longer. Better get to the Temple Bridge and rendezvous with the others now. Looks like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Sutter didn't want some more involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok, he did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Sutter knows. It was said that Yari and Somer first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Wait, what? How did they get there? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. What about the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somer had found it in each other. I guess the army of giants fighting at Ragnarok was just part of Groa's lot. There aren't enough giants around. And the ones that are, they're not really fighters, are they? Yes, giants from well, The armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever Groa's deception, he heard the truth as Tyr. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. 
Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air. And with Hell's army for a vanguard... What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Together, we did them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but... I do envy you. <laughs> oh, hey. Is it okay if I just hang out here for now? Nothing's wrong. I just want to be alone. And think. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step. <laughs> do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening, he wore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. (laughs) 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes, but not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes. For you, and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. When you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Say, you feel your absence. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
We'd hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. storm in Asgard and, and whatnot. I thought you could make use of it. Indeed. What was I thinking? Of course you got your armor all set. Just go win. That's all that matters. Oh, do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a chance again. I'm so sorry that was dark. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock.
Niflheim tower is falling. And if Odin goes after Niflheim next... They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. Gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! Odin's new Valkyrie Queen is Gnar. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Incoming! Back here! Rise up! 
Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Save, Save it! Odin oh, forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Oh. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? My guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. 
by those who are willing to sacrifice everything. What are you doing? Son, listen closely. You feel their pain because that is who you are. And you must never sacrifice that. Never. Not for anyone. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, son. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. Tell me if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Prey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not my list before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Shut up and fight.
thank you? No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, no! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Yildur okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. No oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Fight well! My dad taught me! 
That much is clear. Yeah, well, hey, sorry, he's, uh, he's not. I know. Use a shield strike! Be careful, brother. You're covered in black What's going on? I thought Ragnarok was supposed to help us! The creature is not whole. What remains is incomplete. It cannot fulfill its purpose. has done his part. The rest is on us. Great launch. That's where we gotta go. I'm allowed to kill you. We do 
not need to do this. We do. It's what we are. It won't be enough. Is that it? I can take it. Can you? Thor, you last seems to think you've changed. Move it and stop this. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I didn't want this. 
I did not want this. <sighs> Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. <laughs> Looks like I gotta do everything around here. <laughs> <laughs> 